Good afternoon. Um, as I'm sure everybody knows, uh, we were the we felt the uh, effects of an earthquake uh, earlier today at approximately 8:40, and so I've asked to see to speak to you uh, to give you a um, uh, the latest uh, the latest situation or on. Uh, what is going on and what we have been able to um, what we have been able to find out about the situation in different places um, mukhang malakas yung lindol kasi malaking ang 7.3 napakalakas na niyan hanggang Ilocosur nag approximately uh, 6.6.0 uh, uh, which in the Richter scale which is a very which is still a very strong uh, a very strong earthquake uh, I have with me uh, USEC Solidum well, uh, there, and uh, SND Faustino and DILG uh, Abalos uh, so that they can give us the reports from the, uh, uh, the, uh, on the technical aspects of what happened today uh, from Fieldbox and uh, the, re the reports that are our policemen and other local executives have been uh, have been providing us, uh, and of course the NDRMC uh, on the measures that we have taken to uh, to immediately provide support to the LGUs and of course the citizens the citizens that have been affected. Um, uh, I would have the secretary of DSWD, Secretary Erwin Tulfo. Uh, he's not here with us because he's already there. He left early earlier. He left soon after the uh, soon after the earthquake. Uh, again, we are awaiting his uh, his report. Uh, I am staying away uh, from going to the affected areas for a very simple reason. It has been my experience as governor. It has been my experience uh, in Yolanda that when the national officers come to the uh, affected areas immediately ginugulo lang namin yung trabaho ng ng mga lokal yung halimbawa pupunta ako doon maghahanap pa ako ng police para pag secure kailangan ako i-meeting ng mga local officials eh marami silang ginagawa so i said let them do their work uh, let us wait for them to tell us what is going to be, what the, the true situation is. And maybe I can schedule a trip, uh, perhaps uh, tomorrow, uh, as soon as possible. So, now I'll turn the floor over to uh, Lusek Solidun so he can explain to us exactly what happened uh, in Abra this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. At exactly 8.43 this morning, a magnitude 7.0, initially rated at 7.3, occurred in Abra. And the depth of the earthquake was 17 kilometers, so not so deep, shallow. And because of the magnitude of the earthquake, we consider it as a major earthquake. Anything greater than 7 is a major earthquake, and we would expect significant effects of this event. First, on the reported strength of the shaking, so far, the maximum intensity reported to us would be intensity 7 in Boklok and Manabo Abra, and this would be manifested by damages to houses and buildings and landslides, especially in the mountainous region. We also noticed intensity 6 in Vigan and other towns of Ilocosur like Sinait, Bantay, San Esteban, and in Nalawak, Pangasinan, and even Baguio City, and that would be nearby La Trinidad. The reason why there was significant damage in Vigan is that the foundation of the city is essentially sandy because of the big river that would flood the area from time to time. So there was a, a amplification of the shaking and many of the churches and historical buildings were damaged. Now, landslides are a problem, especially not only for earthquakes, but uh, during rain. So we, meet, we have to make sure that areas that are affected by landslide and starting or incipient landslide should be avoided. Towns should actually investigate 
okay, houses and buildings that were damaged to see if they can still be usable and even those that don't have very obvious damage. So this will be the work po ng mga local engineer. There was a reported uh, unusual wave in the coastal areas of La Union and uh, Ilocos. And this was not a tsunami po, no? Because a tsunami would be very high waves because of the uplift of the ocean floor due to an earthquake in the ocean. What happened was there was shaking of the island and the water, coastal water was shaken. So there was a minor a seawater oscillation. Some of the waters actually entered some of the river. Mr. President, yun lang po report natin. All right, so that is the initial report uh, from Field Box on uh, uh, what the uh, what has happened. Siguro next, I will ask uh, uh, Secretary. No, unahin natin ang DILG because I want to hear also that hindi ko pa narinig ang mga report na galing sa mga local government at saka sa mga, sa mga police natin. So maybe, uh, Sec Benher, you can... Uh, you can brief us brief you can brief us on on uh, what they have reported to you <clears throat> magandang hapon po mr president at sa lahat po ng mga nanonood nakikinig po ngayon uh, ito pong uh, mga data na ito ito po ay uh, kinumpile po natin ito ay galing sa mga local chief executives ng mga LGUs and of course galing sa PNP at galing sa uh, mga fire Okay, no reference po namin ito nang sa ganoon ay talagang ito ay exact po at tama. Ang affected regions po ay 1, 2, and CAR. Uh, 15 provinces are affected, 15 cities, 280 municipalities, 6,756 barangays. Ang initial reports po are dry road closures in some parts of Abra, power interruptions in Abra and Benguet, intermittent communication lines in Region 1, Landslide in some parts of car, minor damages in other regions. Ito po ang initial report sa car. 29 municipal roads were damaged. Three bridges in Abra are also reported to have been damaged. 173 buildings, both private and government, were also damaged. 58 reported landslides, most of which occurred in Abra, with 31 reported landslides. 60 injured. And so far po, apat po ang uh, nabalita ang uh, nasawian ng buhay, no? four deaths. Of these four, uh, two are in Benguet, one each in Abra, and uh, Mountain, one, uh, two, two in, in Benguet, one in, uh, in Abra. No? Yung sa Mountain Province po. Ang, ang, ang cost niyan, pagguho ng lupa? Pag, pagguho po, opo. Uh, uh, sir, if I might also add, Mr. President, no, para lang, sandali lang po, para lang pong maano po natin, uh, eto lang po, uh, karamihan kasi pagguho eh. Mm -mm. Uh, yung, okay. unang, yung unang casualty sa La Trinidad, uh, natabunan ng lupa eh. Uh, para, mukhang ganun din eh, kasi doon sa mga highland areas, ma uh, ano yung lupa. Yes, yeah, sir. Eh. Mga, mga, ano, mga lupa po. So, sir, i-break down ko lang po. Ano? So, lumalabas sa Abra ay tatlong tulay, tatlong bridges. Sa buildings, ito lang o, oh, iaano ko lang. Sa Baguio, 33 were affected. Tapos, 59 dito po sa Abra. Sa Apayaw, dalawa. Tapos, uh, sa Benguet, 62. Pagkatapos po sa Kalinga, 7. And then sa Mountain Province, province 10 po. po no? That's a total of 173. And of course, ang pinakamaraming landslide reported ay dito po sa Abra with 31. No? Uh, ang mga injured po, pinakamarami din po sa Abra, sir, at 44. No? At uh, yun po ang report po namin. Nakadeploy right. po uh, ang mga kapulisyahan at mga bombero po at ang mga disasteries na mga LGUs po sa okay. mga lugar na ito. Thank you. Thank you, yes, Sec. Benor. Itutuloy ko na lang sa, uh, dahil naumpisa na ni Sec. Benor yung ano, report sa mga <coughs> sa mga daan. Uh, I've also received a, a, a initial report from the um, Department of Public Works and Highways on the condition of the roads 
uh, in and out of the area, uh, national roads especially. Uh, sa Kenon Road is presently not possible. Uh, Palispis, the yung Palispis area ng Marcos Highway is not possible. The Benguet Vizcaya Road as of now is not possible. Uh, kilometer 302 to 700 Poblacion Bukod Benguet is also not possible. Not passable. Baguio Itugon, not possible. Uh, Andres uh, Kusalan Road in Sitio Bugao, Barangay Adaway, Kabayan Benguet is not possible. Uh, sa National Road, uh, kilometer 297 plus 200, Belling, not possible. Uh, Poblacion, Kibungan, Collapse, not, uh, sa, sa Benguet pa rin ito. Uh, kilometer 313, but not, not possible. Up, upper Kalinga, uh, sa Bandang Pail, is not possible. Um, on the the road going up from Kalinga to Abra, Pantikan to Bablasang, Balbalan is not possible. Uh, li, Lubuagan, Batong Buhay Road, Batong Buhay Road is not possible. Uh, if you go uh, the Banawe, Hungduan, Binget Boundary Road is not also possible. Uh, Merong, however, there are other roads like the Palispis Marcos Highway. One lane is possible now. Baguio Bontok Road, uh, Baguio Bontok Road, uh, pwede nang one lane. Benguet, Nueva Vizcaya, one lane. Uh, so, dahan-dahan, nabubuksan naman. Uh, what was not possible, we have been, uh, we have been al already been able to, uh, uh, to clear uh, some of them. Ma ma hindi, unless, kasi hindi, basta hindi naman mabagsakan ng malaking-malaking bato at lupa lang ang bumaba, ay hindi naman mahirap na i-clear yan. Kaya I anticipate by the end of the day, the majority of these roads that I have mentioned as being not possible should already be available for use to us. Now I'll uh, give the floor uh, to uh, SND Faustino on the report uh, from the uh, NDRMC. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mr. President. Uh, magandang hapon po sa lahat. Ang uh, reports po na ito ay uh, halos kapares din po nung kay Secretary Abalos. Ganyan man, ang, uh, dito ay uh, I will give emphasis doon sa ano na ba ang mga uh, preparasyon o ano na yung mga ginawa natin as a result of the earthquake. Ang actions po taken by the NDRRMC, uh, agad po ay nag-convene ang ating NDRRMC. Nagkaroon po tayo ng emergency meeting through VTC with concern uh, regional directors na mga naapektuhan ng mga region at mga probinsya. And we already issued a directive uh, issued to Luzon regions re regarding the reiteration of uh, response actions. The OCD also issued two emergency alert and warning message. Uh, we also, in coordination with Fieldbox, uh, the quick response teams to be deployed uh, for field assessment. As mentioned by uh, the President, uh, DSWD Secretary uh, is already in the affected, uh, is in, already in ABRA at, uh, for the relief assistance. Of course, uh, yung Armed Forces of the Philippines prepared assets for mobilization already. We are talking about uh, air assets uh, and we could add more kung kinakailangan pa. But we have a number of assets, air assets already positioned in the area in coordination with the Northern Luzon Command. And uh, the Philippine Navy assets are on standby already, sir, in, in Subic, kung kakailanganin pa, sir, ito. Then, of course, the available relief, relief items from the Office of Civil Defense is already ready and prepared. Sakaling mga ilangan ng ating mga LGUs dahil meron namang mga nakaposition na, preposition na, na mga relief goods doon sa lugar na to. Right now, they're, they're, uh, the rapid assessment uh, is ongoing on the following. Status of roads and bridges, as reported kanina. Status of critical lifelines and infra infrastructures, status of houses, status or the total affected population, the immediate needs, and as we speak, ongoing ang, uh, road clearing operations, and ongoing data gathering and submission of uh, situational reports. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Secretary. Uh, so that is, the, that is the general situation as we know it for now. Uh, pagkaganito ang lagi kong inaalala kaagad yung kuryente at saka yung tubig 
because that's always the immediate uh, ano dahil yung kuryente kailangan sa communication and the communications but the communications is dependent on the availability of the power supply ang report na nakukuha natin nagtanong ako kasi generally rural area naman ito so hindi siguro dapat maging problema ang water supply ng tao Uh, pati pagkain, uh, dahil naman, hindi naman na uh, iba, iba, iba naman ito sa Baguio, palagay ko may available na pagkain. Wala pa tayong report uh, kung kailan ima ibabalik ang uh, kuryente. Ang, uh, ang dahil, ang nangyayari diyan, kailangan nilang tignan lahat ng mga linya at... Uh, para kasi walang na basically walang short yun na uh, yung dati na yung lagi natin pinagdadaanan pagka pagka may disaster uh, sa communication naman ang globe ay may pinadala na na meron silang emergency na mga cell site uh, yung smart wala pa kami uh, narinig ngunit ay nang uh, nag-request na kami sa kanila na magtayo na kagad Uh, na uh, ibalik na kagad ang serbisyo dahil lalong-lalo na pag-disaster pagkaganto, napaka-importante na nakakapag-usap kami at uh, nakakausap ko yung mga yung mga local leaders nakakausap natin ng mga uh, first responders na on the ground so that is where we stand now and uh, we will continue to provide uh, information as it comes in as a uh, As uh, you can imagine, this is situation continues to develop uh, and it will do so for the next few days. But uh, I think that everything that can be done has been done. Uh, we have uh, even anticipated uh, the needs of the, those who have, been, uh, vic have become victims of this very strong earthquake. So I'll end it there, uh, but I'll open the floor to a few questions. Uh, about uh, the uh, earthquake. Uh, first question from Mr. Neil Maribok from UNTV. Okay, magandang hapon po, sir. Good afternoon. Base po dun sa natatanggap na po ninyong initial information sa mga damages, may posibilidad po ba o ikinoconsidera ninyo ang pagdedeklara po ng state of calamity sa mga lugar po na ito? Ang uh, generally, ang SOP dyan, uh, ang state of national calamity, pag apektado ang tatlong region, Eh, automatic, actually, automatic yun. Uh, hindi naman naapekto ng tatlo. So far, we can say that it's Region 1 and CAR. Uh, and uh, so, I don't think it's necessary right now uh, to declare a national emergency. However, depending on the information that comes back, uh, I'm sure marami pa tayong magbabalitaan, marami pang impormasyon na hindi pa nakarating sa atin, uh, baka mangyari yun. I hope not. Kasi sana limited na nga dito sa Abra uh, hanggang sa Ilocos, Ilocos Sur, Ilocos Norte, uh, La Union. Um, yung mabigat yata yung sa, sa amin, sa Ilocos Norte, I spoke to the governor. Uh, sabi niya mukha namang so far may structural damage, wala namang kaming casualty. Yung La Union, yung sa Ilocos Sur, uh, uh, I'm sure nakita ninyo yung Bantay uh, Church. Uh, na mara, malaki ang damage meron din structural damage sa mga sa mga bahay sa La Union naman mukhang hindi gaanong tinamaan uh, perhaps because of the the terrain structure as explained to us by Yusek Solidum iba siguro ang uh, ang pinapatungan ng mga bayan doon sa La Union so anyway that's the and now of course we know what has been happening in Kalinga in Benguet in uh, 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 and in the in Baguio Baguio City mukhang ano na naman mukhang natamaan ng uh, ng malakas so we have to wait for those reports but right now um hindi pa nangangailangan ng uh, magdeklara ng national calamity thank you sir thank, thank you, you mr neil miss pia gutierrez abs cbn Hi, hi, sir. Good afternoon. Good sir, afternoon. base po sa report ng uh, pag-asa, meron po silang mga binabantayan na uh, weather disturbances that will affect mostly yung mga areas na lubhang tinamaan po nitong uh, lindol. So, sir, what are your directives, sir, to the government agencies to prevent further damages and loss of lives? Good question. Kinakatakutan namin baka umulan. 
Uh, and kasi na, 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 siguro na, naluwag na nga that uh, there, there'll be a great danger again of landslides. So we are binabantayan natin yan. Uh, and uh, usually naman na-identify natin kung saan yung areas of risk. So pwede nating bantayan. Huwag sanang umulan at least for the next two days para makapag-stabilize tayo ng mga lalo na yung mga daan uh, pati yung mga para ma-inspeksyon na rin yung mga bahay if they are safe to go back to Pero siguro hindi pa ngayon. Dahil even if they are structurally uh, safe to return, magkakaroon pa tayo ng aftershock. Baka doon naman magkaproblema. If you remember, uh, a while back, uh, during, the, during the earthquake in Baguio, maraming namatay kasi kala nila tapos na, bumalik, pumasok sila, inabutan sila ngayon ng aftershock. So that's what we are watching out for, both in the structures and in the, uh, the uh, watching the danger of landslides. Maraming salamat, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Ms. Cathy Valiente, Manila Times. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. President, good afternoon po. Uh, good afternoon. Para po sa kaalaman lang po na ating mga kababayan, where were you po and what were you doing when the earthquake happened? I'm sorry? Nasaan daw po kayo, President, during the earthquake? I was in my office. Okay. Naririnig ko yung, nag, yung may chandelier na... na <laughs> yun, ang, yun ang guide namin dito sa palasyo. Pag narinig ko yung chandelier na kumakalansing, then ibig sabihin may, may lindol. But um, it was very strong. It's stronger than, than the usual. Yes, sir. So, uh, follow up lang, sir. What can the government do to ensure daw po yung National Building Code is in force, will you push for a review of the code? And lastly, sir, will you ask the Congress to pass the bill on Department of Disaster Resilience? The, yes, precisely, because uh, as I said in the SONA, uh, we have to recognize that we are disaster prone. Uh, and that's why, the, which leads me to the answer to your previous question, which is uh, uh, we have to uh, we have to be certain that our planning, hindi na natin mapalitan yung mga nakatayo na, but our planning uh, for the future should include all the mitigation, all the, uh, all the science and the, and the knowledge uh, uh, and the learnings on the mitigation of these kinds of disasters. Um, Iba naman yung lindol, uh, the problem, the problem, the real problem with the earthquake is hindi talaga tayo makapag-predict ng lindol. At least yung bagyo meron, may warning, uh, yung lindol talagang bigla. Uh, so, uh, we just have to deal with it that way. And if we can make our, our, get that balance between cost and the mitigation requirements uh, ng ating, ano, ng ating building code, uh, so that we are safe when uh, the earthquake comes or malakas na bagyo, uh, then that is what we will have to do. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, sir. Uh, Thank you. Will you push <coughs> for the passage of the ano? Of the? Yung ano, sir, bill on national disaster resilience. Yes. Department. Sorry. We we we. Mukang. I I don't like to say it, pero mukang mapapadar si to eh. Not the earthquake, pero yung weather, lalo yung extreme weather. Kahit hindi bagyo, yung masyadong mag... Nakikita nyo yung sa Europe, nakikita nyo sa Amerika. Baka naman abutan tayo ng ganyan, yung napakainit masyado. Uh, so these are the things that we have, to, we have to be careful. We need more capability than we have now. Magaling na tayo sa bagyo, marunong na tayo sa lindol. Pero ang mga dangers na, the, the dangers that the, clim, the effects of climate change present are different. That's why we need a specialist, uh, uh, a specialist agency. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ms. Tuesday New, DZWB. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon. Apo, na so far po, na bigyan nyo na kami ng initial scenario ng uh, ongoing relief and disaster response operations. Saan po ang extent ng assistance na pwedeng ibigay ng national government sa mga affected residents, lalo na po yung mga nagiba ang bahay, bumagsak ang bahay? Papagawa din po ba yung kanilang mga bahay, sir? Papagawa yung? Mga bahay na nagiba. Tutulong kami, siyente. Uh, the, the immediate, um, uh, lalo na sa Lindol, ang immediate concern is shelter. Yes. Kasi nga, kahit na titignan mo yung bahay, mukhang matibay, 
hindi mo malalaman hanggang na, na inspeksyon na mabuti yun. Mm -hmm. So we cannot allow people to return to their homes yet. Um, because it's dangerous. It, it, that is uh, one of the problems. Because ang tendency ng tao, pagka, pagka umalis ng kanilang tahanan, ay babalik ka agad yun. Mm -hmm. Kasi para hindi mo alam niyo na yun para hindi walang walang masira walang makuha walang whatever mm -hmm. so we have to we have to un, we have to explain to them that uh, ang kail kailangan muna ma inspection yung kanilang mga bahay at bukod pa doon kailangan na muna natin antayin na matapos, may medyo matapos na yung mga aftershocks uh you said solid don't tell me it'll be two or three days of uh, significant aftershocks after which magte taper off So, antayin na natin yung, yung ilang araw. In the meantime, it is up to us, uh, the government, to provide shelter for them, to be able to feed them uh, while they are in the, uh, in the shelters, and to inspect their, uh, their residences, uh, their places of business, para makita natin kung pwede na silang bumalik. Pwede magtrabaho ulit, pwede na bumalik sa kanilang mga bahay. Follow up lang, sir. May panawagan po ang FIVOX kaninang umaga sa local government units na seryosohin po yung pag inspection sa mga residential houses, not just buildings and other establishments. Would you issue a directive po sa DILG na gawin po itong at least regular inspection sa mga residential houses sa kanilang areas? There's no need. There is already an existing, um, there is already an existing procedure for that. Um, ang problema... Uh, hindi masyadong uh, uh, hindi ko minsan hindi masyadong nagagawa uh, because we actually uh, at the local government level meron tayong mga engineer pero not necessarily qualified sila para tumingin sa building at sasabihin safe ito pag nagkalindol hanggang Richter scale 6 pwede ito hanggang ganito hindi, wala tayong sa local level wala tayong ganun kaya hindi nagagawa so uh, We will just have to, I, I think the better way is to educate people. Na wag, yung lala, wag kayo magtatayo ng bahay sa, sa delikadong lugar. Uh, make sure that uh, maayos, yung, maayos yung mga materials na ginagamit at maging matibay ka pa, para pag, uh, sakali mang magkalindol o magkabagyo o ay hindi naman kayo ma, mabiktima. So yes, uh, it's something that we would like to be able to do. We have yet to we have yet to uh, have the capability to do it uh, extensively. So urban areas nagagawa, pero sa rural areas hindi gano. Thank you, sir. Maraming salamat. That's all for Thank today, you. Mr. President. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, there's <laughs> there's one more. <laughs> oh yes, again. Go ahead. One. Thank you, Mr. President. Katrina Domingo from ABS-CBN News. Mr. President, we have an initial assessment regarding the, infra the cost of infrastructure and agricultural damage incurred uh, after the quake. Wala pa. Uh, we haven't yet gotten the estimates. That will take, uh, that will take uh, some days. Uh, kasi kailangan na lang, kailangan yung mga sa agriculture, yung mga um, uh, upag, the mga mao, kailangan umiikot yan sa lahat ng lugar. Again, ang worry ko dito ay hindi yung tanim, kung hindi yung irrigation systems, kung ano yung nasira. Kasi pag lindol, yun ang tinatamaan eh. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that, 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 that for me, in terms of the agricultural sector, that for me is going to be the greatest concern. Sir, Kasi well, malapit ng, malapit ng ano, taniman. Sir, two-prong follow-up question. First, um, aside from the provision of shelter and food, will the government also be providing cash um, incentives or cash allowances to rebuild their homes? As well? And how much um, of an additional budget are we looking at to address the situation? We haven't, uh, we haven't made those calculations yet. But siyempre, uh, we, we have all of the, 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 the mechanisms that have been put in place, that had been put in place for the uh, uh, pandemic and so they are also in place and if you know ix is for all citizens in a precarious uh, situation so it does not necessarily mean that they they got sick with covid it means basat na na nalagay sila sa alanganing uh, alanganing position uh, so that that will apply 
um, siguro that will that will uh, that will be most relevant to those who have uh, for whatever reason yung mga yung mga kanilang mga opisina or yung kanilang mga tindahan ay nasira hindi sila makapagbukas eh, mga ngailangan tayo dahil wala silang wala silang hinahanap buhay so i'm sure the 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 social programs will then come into come into play definitely sir we have an available budget and do we have a ballpark figure of how much we can still spend i think in term especially in terms of uh, what we're anticipating after this uh, earthquake i think we uh, we should be we should be able to cover it thank you sir Salamat. thank you thank, thank you, you very, very much, much. Mm -hmm. good afternoon thank you.